Okay, welcome back to my new CERN root tutorial. In the last video we have learned how to create an histogram and now I want to show you how to create a simple graph because this will be also maybe somehow necessary for your future analysis. So first in the tutorials folder we create a new <coughs> file. Let's call it tut tutorial 2.c and we put it directly in the background so we can edit it and later run it in root. So again we have to define first the function to, to uh, in, with parentheses so the same name as for the file name and now we can take a look at the CERN documentation how to create the graph so we need uh, the constructor and this is shown here. So the first parameter is an integer. It gives the number of entries that you want to insert into the graph, then the array for the x values and then an array for the y values. So we will start with the array for the x value and we let's suppose want to have five entries. So uh, we will define them as just one, two, three, four, five. And uh, now for the x values, um, of course, we can also choose arbitrary numbers, but um, in order to, um, to use them later, maybe we can just use a quadratic correlation between x and y. So we just have to square all the values. 1 is 1, 2 gives uh, 2 square, it gives 4, 3 square, 9, then uh, 16 and then 25. Of course you can also insert some other numbers and see how the graph changes if you want to play a little bit with this. So now uh, it's very simple. We can just uh, create a new t graph object. Um, uh, let's call it a gr and uh, then we uh, have to uh, again create it on the heap. So we write t graph then the constructor we have five entries uh, and the array for x is just x and the array for y is y and uh, yeah then in next step we only have to create uh, the canvas like last time so just call it again c1 <coughs> and now uh, we can draw the graph uh, in contrast to the histogram uh, we have to always write the parameter uh, a um, in quotation marks, which means that uh, all things should be drawn, especially the axis of the graph. So now we can save it and uh, <clears throat> we can run the script. And uh, here I did a mistake. So this comma should be removed and the semicolon should be inserted. And now we can start the script. And as you see, it's uh, empty. So um, basically we have done uh, something wrong. If we call it a L. Okay, so we also have to um, tell root what uh, the style in which the graph should be um, drawn. So in this case I wrote an L. L basically means that uh, all the points, the data points are interconnected with a straight line, which is of course not always what you want, but for the time being it should be sufficient. Now <coughs> we want that the data points are marked with a star, so we can just insert a star here. And when we run the script again, you can see that for all data points you have a star. Of course, uh, sometimes you don't want to have this. You want to have uh, other kind of data points, uh, symbols or other markers. So we can just write a P for point. And if we then start the script, there is nothing shown because the data points are just too small and we can adjust the size by writing gr <coughs> set marker style and uh, we can just use some random style let's suppose four and uh, <coughs> then we can also define the size of the marker set marker size um, let's say one standard one and uh, then we can run it and you see in this case marker style 4 
is uh, uh, empty dots. Now we can try also another one. You can try several to see what comes out of this. <coughs> And uh, let's suppose we will try three. So there we have our stars again, or we can try uh, set marker style two, uh, <coughs> root two, and there we have plus signs. Uh, we can also change the size. So let's suppose we call, we take marker style five and we change the size also to five. Of course, this is unrealistic, but uh, there in this case, the markers are really huge. Um, and uh, <clears throat> if we change the draw parameter from L to C, then we will see that uh, root does not uh, just connect the data points with a straight line, but it draws a curve, um, a smooth curve through the data point. So now you can really see the parabolic uh, shape. Um, <clears throat> so let's try some other marker style. I also don't know them by heart, so I'm always uh, um, this was not saved, so I always try to uh, play a little bit with this. Uh, <coughs> there are also commands to use for that. So let's suppose uh, k circle gives uh, circle empty circle, and uh, I think it is k filled circle. If you want to have a filled circle, which is not correct, so filled. Uh, is not the correct command, but it should be k full circle, and there you have uh, filled circles. Uh, and uh, the axis labels you can set in the same way how we did it for the histogram last time. So in this case, you are free to play now a little bit with this and try to find the different options. Uh, many things are explained in the CERN documentary here, so you find out all the important uh, functions, but of course I will also explain them uh, in the next videos a little bit deeper. So for the time being, I think we should stop. Uh, you can play a little bit with this, and uh, yeah, please, uh, if you are new, subscribe this channel, and I hope we see each other again for the next tutorial. Thank you for your attention.